Hey, what's going on you guys? It's Ginger on Wheels here again. As you might have heard, the Kingsong S20 is now the Kingsong S22. We've got new firmware for the wheel and the BMS. And I just want to go ahead and do another range test on it to make sure, or to verify that there is any more range. Or if there isn't, maybe, maybe not. We're going to do a uh, long range test today. I'm going to try and keep it between 20 and 25 miles an hour. Like a pretty realistic range test. And we're just going to have a fun ride. So thanks again to Alien Rides for sending this wheel to review. There have also been some uh, actual physical changes to the wheel that will be happening between the S20 and the S22. There's 12 of them, I believe. And I'll roll the intro and then I'll let you know what they are. I'll list them on the page. But let's get ready to have a fun range test. So I've gone 9.9 .9 miles on the uh, S22 here and the battery gauge is still reading full on the wheel and I just checked uh, EU SeaWorld and we still have 100% according to the app too when stopped. So I barely used like maybe 5%. I don't know how that's possible. It seems like it's being pretty generous with the uh, range here, but who knows? Maybe it's just really good at cruising speed. I was seated for most of the ride, but definitely hauling pretty good speed, probably 25, 30 miles an hour for most of it. So stay tuned. I just had to stop and tighten some bolts on the uh, wheel. I want to show you which ones I noticed came loose first. These bolts that are holding the uh, pedals on, little pedal hangers, all eight of these were loose. Also, on the, on the top here, there's like four on each side. This one's covered by the shroud, but these three were loose and these three were loose. So. Make sure to tighten up your wheel every once in a while. I used blue Loctite, so hopefully it won't come out again. Sending it down this hill and going like 35 miles an hour. I uh, have gone 10 or 11 miles already and I went to go brake and I got an over voltage protection and the wheel started to tilt back. A ground up pavement right here. They're about to repave it and this tire does amazing. With the uh, tracking, it's not tracking left or right. That was great. On my uh, Kenda tire or any street tire, the wheel would have been kind of shifting back and forth following the grooves of the road, but this thing was rock solid. So yeah, about that over voltage protection, that was weird. Definitely have gone 11 miles. The, the wheel went beep, beep, beep as I was going downhill and braking, and then it started to tilt back like really far. So I had to get off, turn the wheel off, turn the wheel on. It still says 100%, so the only thing I can think is that it, it thought I was over the wheel. So as you can see in the EUC world, got 116 volts and it still says 100%. I hope you can see that anyways. I thought maybe there was another uh, firmware update that got pushed while I was riding, which wouldn't surprise me. It seems like every other day there's a new firmware update on this wheel. King Song must really be scrambling to fix things. But I uh, opened Soft Tuner and there's no update available. So I opened the King Song app and it told me there's a an app update for the King Song app and the King Song app says 76%, which I believe. So I just downloaded the new King Song app. It seems to be the same as far as I can tell. The wheel has one bar missing. We've gone about 15 miles. I guess I'll just keep riding. I'm gonna pay attention to the King Song app now because EUC World, maybe EUC World doesn't have an update for the latest firmware, that's my guess. All the uh, firmware and software updates and all that for the wheel have been coming through SoftTuner, and SoftTuner says I'm up to date. So maybe it was just an update for the actual Kingsong app, but yeah, still says 100% in the EUC world. I'm gonna keep going now.
26 miles into the trip. Max speed 36, average speed around 20. Doing a lot of slowing down and uh, speeding back up, trying to get around people on the trail, trying to be courteous. I think I'm gonna take it out on the road though so I can get a, a more consistent average speed because I'm sure slowing down and speeding up a lot is munching the battery. But surprisingly enough, we still have 50% battery on the wheel. So potentially 50 miles at cruising speed, that'd be cool. Again, I'm uh, 220 pounds. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but it's been mostly seated, probably about 20 or 30% standing. And I'm just taking a little break at this park here, catching my legs because they're getting all shaky. I'll probably check in at like 15% battery and then again when we die. But super fun wheel to cruise around on. Doesn't have the torque you need for off-roading, sadly, unless you're like 140 pounds or something, but it's just kind of sluggish to get going. But once it does get going, it's a great cruising wheel, even with the stock seat. All right, so a little update. I am at 35 miles. Sun's kind of going down here, but 38% left on the wheel, according to the Kingsong app. Got two bars left on here, and I just wanted to stop here because I was on the road, and I started getting the uh, initial beeps where it's telling me battery's getting low. I was cruising about 30 miles an hour, so it's understandable. But got about 15 miles to go till I'm home, so hope I don't get stranded out here. I have to take another Uber. But if I do, you guys can support the channel by donating to the uh, Patreon or buy me coffee because Ubers aren't cheap. But yeah, 38% battery left. Let's check out some stats here. 35 miles into the trip, top speed 36, average speed 22 while moving, 20 miles an hour if you include all the uh, stops and like stop signs waiting for people and stuff. But yeah, it's going well so far. You can see in the beginning there were, there were some pretty big hills. A uh, 400 foot elevation gain a couple times, but it's been mostly level as I'm going around the lake here. Well, this isn't good. Uh, I'm like in the middle of nowhere right now. Far from my house. Uh, it got cold out and the wheel started dropping battery percent real fast. I'm at 38.68 miles. Um, the wheel, you probably can hear it. It's beep, beep, beeping because I've got tilt back. So I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on. Kind of reset it a little bit, let the battery rest, and maybe I'll get another mile out of it. But it does look like we're Ubering home. For what it's worth, in the uh, Kingsong app, it does say 21% battery remaining. So maybe I can squeeze another mile or two out of it. Let's see what happens. So this is like actually worst case scenario. I'm broken down, well, I ran out of battery. I was gonna take a Lyft or an Uber home and the app warned me that you need a mask to get in. And for whatever reason, I normally carry masks in my backpack, but not, not on this day. So I uh, have summoned my girlfriend, my lovely girlfriend. She's gonna come pick me up in like a half an hour, but did not see this coming. Mr. Kingsong S20 over here, dead as a doornail. It is what it is. Okay, so now that we're back home, let's look at this uh, stats a little more closely. You can see on the left there, we got the map and the green and yellow sections are where I was going cruising speed, probably 25, 30 miles an hour. The red sections are where I was slowing down to maybe check my phone or wait to go around people, stoplights, stop signs, things like that. And that is reflected in the average speed, which according to this was 21.6 miles an hour. I can tell you though, when I was cruising and there was nothing in the way, it was about 25 to 30. You can see the max speed in the upper right there is 36 miles an hour. And that was around the uh, east side of the lake, the grit long green section. On the speed chart, you can see I was slowing down and speeding up quite a bit. So that does munch through the battery. It wasn't a consistent speed the whole time. 
Total track length, 38.68 miles. So that, I think that's the farthest range test I've seen on this wheel. You can see, uh, not only were we speeding up and slowing down a lot, but there was some elevation gain and drop. There was a big drop in the beginning, another big hill, 400 foot hill, then we went down and there was a series of smaller hills. Uh, it looks like 2,300 feet of my ride was uphill. So maybe three quarters of a mile of it was just going straight up hills. Total vertical ascent around a thousand feet. But I think overall, this is just really good range for the wheel considering it's you know 2,200 watt hours. Well, that's all I've got for you guys today on the Kingsong S22. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and get more PEV videos and I'll be doing the S22 official review coming out soon.